In this video, we are going to take a tour of backend's most common features. We'll get started by creating a new backend application. We'll give it a name, and then we will click Create New App. And from here, we are going to go ahead and update the default database template with one of our own. And then we can actually see the connection information for this application once the database has been successfully created. So we'll click over on databases, configuration, and you can see this information here as well as different tools that you can connect with to manipulate that data. You can also see the documentation for the REST API under API documentation or if you want to play around with these REST APIs directly you can do so in the REST API playground. You can also see information for each individual database object in the database tables field. For instance, server-side actions you can take, as well as security templates for that table, as well as the data that exists within that table. You can also do custom queries to test the data in your table. And you can also edit the security configuration for your application. You can make it a public or private app. as well as copy the API signup token for creating users from your application. And here you can see the users that exist for your application. We also have extensive logging available to us in backend. And so to get started with that, you have to go to settings and then click the track changes button. And once that has been enabled, you can see the data history for your particular table. You can also update your app settings in the app settings tab. We welcome you to check out the other videos where we get into each one of these features in more depth. 